there is a great opportunity to learn about the environment in your community and go green in your home. Do you hear the, all the details from the Urbana Park District? Savannah Donovan, the Environmental Program Manager, is here with all of the events on what is your very first Climate Action Week. So this sounds exciting. What made Urbana Park District decide we need to host a Climate Action Week? <laughs> Well, uh, in April of last year, we released our first climate action plan for the Park District. It's called the CARES Plan, which is actually a, an acronym for Climate Action Resilience, Education and Sustainability. And caring about our community was really where this all came from. So, I mean, basically we see that climate change is happening. It has an impact on individuals and on our community. And we just wanted to do something positive to bring people together and, you know, really get people lifted up and invigorated to work on some of these issues together. Well, yeah, because climate has been such a hot topic um, around the country the last year or two. So it's important that we're addressing it here in central Illinois. So let's talk about some of the activities that you have planned because you've got an entire week's worth of fun. Yeah, and actually we're still getting something scheduled as we go. But so Climate Action Week will be the full week from August 22nd through 28th. Um, during the weekdays, we'll have opportunities like over the lunch hour for people to do a lunch and learn. Um, we'll have some tours, hikes scheduled, and then it will all culminate with a main event at Crystal Lake Park on Saturday the 27th from 1 to 4 p.m. Okay, let's go over some of the day's worth of, of climate action events that you have planned because it is quite the lineup. Like you mentioned, there will be more added, but um, let's start with what you have First off, to kick off the week. Sure, so we're starting with uh, an opportunity to go on a tour of a real weather station, and that is at the Illinois State Water Survey. So we're working with our Illinois State Climatologist, Trent Ford, and uh, Mr. Ford is gonna lead a tour through the facility, and you can see how weather and climate data is actually collected. So how do they gauge rainfall, humidity, temperature, all of that stuff. Um, he'll kind of walk you through that process, and um, that's the facility where they generate the big picture climate data for Champaign-Urbana. I bet they're having a great time um, analyzing all of the humidity of the last few days right. because it seems like it's been out of control. Okay, um, some of the other things you have, are these geared more towards adults or families or youth? That's a really good question. Most of what we have scheduled so far is geared towards older teenagers to adults. Um, but at the main event on, on Saturday the 27th, we'll have opportunities for some, you know, younger kids to engage in some ways to go green as well. But, but really, you know, climate change is, is a bigger topic and, you know, it takes a, a certain level of understanding to, uh, you know, not feel down about it and, and to really feel like you can be part of making a difference. Um, another uh, cool thing we've got scheduled is, let's see, some nature hikes, there's a bat walk. Um, we have a geothermal power hour that's actually going to be out at Parkland College so you can sign up if you're interested in learning about how to use geothermal energy in your home. Tell me about the main event though. Okay, The yes. grand finale. Yeah, so the main event, uh, we're just calling it the Climate Action Week main event, uh, but that is again at Crystal Lake Park on Saturday the 27th from 1 to 4. Uh, we do have some live music planned, but we wanted to go unplugged. So it's gonna be acoustic. We're really, you know, trying to practice what we preach and not use a bunch of generators and electricity and gasoline and yes. whatnot to just play music. So uh, there will be acoustic music at the lake house on the deck there. Um, we're going to have, like I said, opportunities for different kinds of guided hikes. Uh, we are really honored to have a special artist who is going to be uh, displaying her work called Harvest, a Monument to Plastic Waste. Uh, this is a piece made by Kim Curtis and it will be installed at Crystal Lake Park during the week of the event. Uh, but we're also going to have uh, opportunities for people to engage with that artwork so adding trash to the work itself uh, perhaps even trash that we collect during some uh, you know trash collections at Crystal <laughs> yes. Lake Park uh, yeah, well you have quite quite the lineup of things yeah. and still more to come which is yes. which I know is exciting and um, we appreciate the work y'all are doing to Thank help you. raise climate awareness here in Central Illinois. And if you want to learn more about everything they have planned, I feel like we just barely scratched the surface on their whole week's worth of fun. But we will have that posted over at CILiving.tv. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.